As a child, I played school with my cousins. I gave them math worksheets, assigned books to read, taught them Chinese, and then gave them a test. I was the first in my class to receive my badge and multiplication tables and helped my classmates get theirs. Some teachers said I'd make an excellent teacher one day, but others said, you could do so much better. You're so smart. My immigrant parents wanted me to be a doctor, a pharmacist, or an engineer. So when I got into MIT, we compromised. I'd try something else, some sort of engineering. But if I didn't like it, I'd get to do it my way. I loved chemistry, so I majored in chemical engineering. And while I enjoyed my time in the lab, I knew it wasn't for me. After graduation, I joined Teach for America. I really believed in their mission that one day, all children in America would have an excellent education. TFA brought me back to my hometown to teach math in an alternative high school, a school known as Crime High, the dumping ground for students who had failed and been kicked out of other Atlanta schools. I was one of only two Asian faculty in a school of black teachers, administrators, and students. I quickly became known as the Jackie Chan of the building. So I embraced it and jokingly told students, you don't want to mess with me. But my school identity evolved. I became the teacher to go to if you wanted to learn math. The teacher to go to if you needed to cool off from a confrontation. If you missed breakfast but needed something to hold you over until lunch. I became the teacher who visited students in jail when their parents didn't have time. This was me at my very best. After five years of teaching, I wanted to make a bigger impact. I'd miss the kids, but I craved the academic challenge. I got my PhD in education policy. Today, I am what I was always meant to be, an educator now educating other educators to build better opportunities for more inner city students. And my parents are proud. <laughs>